Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Ausenta. Quería tener la clara. Bueno. Ahí va. Da uno. Y yo cómo voy a hacer para que te dé? Good evening. Hello. Good tell evening. me, tell me, uh, I, I just want to know, do you hear any background sound from my side? No, actually. No? No. Okay. So this headset is good. <laughs> because... The TV is on here, and you don't you don't hear the TV. Okay, I'm watching a movie. No, I'm not watching the movie. <laughs> okay, people, welcome one more time. Oh, I need some. Cold, very cold water. Uh, because my throat hurts. Ah. Okay. Well, let's get started tonight with the attendant. Ada Verónica Muñoz. Present. Hello. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia. Ayer. Andrea Isabel Siu Lam. Ayer. Brenda Claribel Mejía Segovia. It's me, present. Welcome, Brenda. Brian Josue Marroquín. I have a question. Brenda, are you on a, on a cell phone or on a computer? Um, today I'm in my cell phone. I didn't know that... Uh, you could put a background on a cell phone. The background? Yes. Yes, is um I'm Dolan the background. Um I, no puse. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that I haven't uh, I have never learned how to do that on a cell phone. Oh yes, and in in type in tablet don't don't isn't that the background. You can do it on tablet, okay? Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Okay, Brian Josue is not here yet, right? Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Claudia Maria Gomez. Claudia Maria. Diana Patricia Orantes. It's me. Present. Okay, okay Claudia. Mm -hmm. Me present, Diana. Okay, let me change here. Okay. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. 
Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present teacher. Hey, you don't have class today? No. Okay, good. Today, no. <laughs> Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis, again. Mary Abigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. No. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. No. My God. Eh, Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Norma Lizette Crespin. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Reina Isabel Romero. Fine. Okay. Silvia Esther Rivera. Silvia, not yet. Hey, quick review. Alicia Perez, Andrea Isabel, Ryan Josué, Luis Alfredo. Present teacher, present. Okay. Mary Abigail, Miguel Antonio, Nelson Eduardo, Silvia Esther. Okay. Yep. Do you feel better? Well, I have my my throat hurts. So. Okay. E, be, why you are drink cold water? <laughs> because cold water is good to relieve the pain in your throat. Okay. Yeah, cold water is. Is the best thing because it's not a flu, yeah. You know, so it's just you are allergic, allergic, yes, allergic. What? Uh, que si es alérgico Al al no, yeah, I'm a, I have some allergies, but not nah, this is not an allergy. Um, uh, should be a virus. Yeah, uh, should be a virus, because I had some uh pain in my joints and and that's it. No, I I didn't have fever, just some pain in my bones and uh my my throat hurts. So so cold water is good. You know. Is ice cream is better, but it's too much sugar, <laughs> and I can I cannot eat too much sugar. So, anyways, water. Okay. Let's see. Teacher, yeah. What about beer? <laughs> beer is too much. Uh, Carbohydrate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too. No. And I don't like it. You know. I don't like uh, bitter. You don't uh, like flavors. It? Oh really? No. I, I only coffee. You know. I mm -hmm. had. I drink coffee without sugar, but beer. I don't know. A cold coffee. Yes. That's good with a lot of ice. Mm -hmm. But anyway, in the afternoon, I, I made myself a frozen with some strawberries and ice. That was good. 
Okay, where we are? Here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's watch a video about the topic we are going to study today. The video that is in the platform, we are going to start talking about indirect questions. Indirect questions, okay? Oh, so let me show you this, the sound here, okay. Okay, here it is. Watch this, please. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the end of the audio program. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Mm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be, and we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we will do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right. And then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is what we're going to include here. So could you tell me, and in this case, I will ask where. This is going to be followed by the subject. 
So in this case, it happens to be the bank, where the bank, and then finally, we're, we're going to include the verb. So in this case, could you tell me where the bank is? And just so that we follow the pattern that I'm proposing here, I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for now. Now, let's try to make sense of that second question that you see there towards the bottom. Where are the restrooms? That's the direct question. What we want to do is we want to turn that question into an indirect question. And you can do that in different ways. For example, you can do that by asking, do you know? Okay, or using another model verb. So in this case, I'm going to propose in using this um, polite way of doing it. Okay, so I'm basically just going to copy that so you can see that it's the, basically the same pattern that we're following. We have, could you tell me? And that follows a WH word. So in this case, where? Okay, so the subject is what's going to change now. And instead of saying the bank, we're not going to say the restrooms. And then it's going to follow the verse. So in this case, it happens to be that since restrooms are plural, then we're going to use the verb to be are instead of the verb to be is. And um, well, um, the phrase here could change, as I mentioned, just like we have it there on the book. Do you know where the restrooms are? And basically, we're going to follow the same pattern for the questions that you see towards the bottom. The only difference here is that we're no longer using the verb to be. We're using other verbs. And we could be talking about the present. We could be talking about the past. And that's what it means by either do or did. So let's try to make sense of those as well. So in this case, it's a similar pattern, if you will. How often do the buses leave? Okay, what we want to do is we want to be able to change this question into an indirect question. And again, we can use the same pattern that you see here. So for, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this previous one that you see there so that you can see that uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me? And we're going to use uh, the uh, WH question. So in this case, it's going to be how often. All right. And then that is followed by the subject. So in this case, the subject is the buses. And then that is followed by the verb. And so in this case, it's no longer the verb to be, but now it's the verb leave. How often do the buses leave? Could you tell me how often the buses leave? Let's try to make sense of the other questions that you see there towards the bottom. Huh. You know what? I'm just I just see that the sound is not synchronized with the with the video. Yeah, the video goes one way and the sound goes another way. So let's talk about this. Let's use it here, okay? We're talking about indirect questions. Indirect questions, as they said, it is it is a, a more polite form to ask something, okay? It is a more polite form to ask something. So you you could ask, hey, where is the bank? Yeah, but uh, if you are talking with uh, a stranger, if you are trying to ask that question or to get that information from a, a person on the street, uh, it's kind of rude just to approach that person and, and, and say, hey, where is the bank? You know, so that's rude. It's better if you say, could you tell me where the bank is? That is one way. So, actually, this part uh, can change, okay? Could you tell me? In this case, you say, could you tell me where the bank is? Perfect. Well, you could also use this, this form. Do you know? 
where the bank is. Perfect. So you can do it. Or can you tell me where the bank is? Perfect. Okay. So we can use these uh, forms to make a question, right? Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the bank is? Can you tell me where the bank is? And usually when you approach to a, a strange person, a, a, a person on the street, we usually start saying, excuse me. Okay, excuse me. Could you tell me where the bank is? Excuse me. Do you know where the bank is? Excuse me. Can you tell me where the bank is? Perfect. Okay. Or where where are the restrooms? Ah, that is too rude, too direct. So that is a uh, not. That doesn't sound well, okay? If you approach a person and you immediately ask her, "Hey, where are the where where are the restrooms?" Okay. Uh, so it's better to to ask, "Hey, could you tell me where the restrooms are, or could you, or oh, do you know where the restrooms are?" Or can you tell me where the restrooms are? Okay. Um, now, in this, these are questions with B. Okay. Questions with B. If you if you notice, we uh, use the verb B at the end. So it. This is not uh, the normal structure of a question, right? Because if you see the normal structure of this question is, where is the bank? Yeah, or where are the restrooms? But we don't use this structure in an indirect question, right? We don't say, could you tell me where is the bank? No. Or do you know where are the restrooms? No. The structure is different. Okay. When we use an indirect question. Observe. Could you tell me where the bank is? The verb goes at the end. Do you know where the restrooms are? The verb comes at the end, okay? Now, let's study questions, uh, WH questions with do or did, not with be, okay? For example, the, the normal question, how often do the buses leave? How often do the buses leave? Now, the indirect question. Could you, can you tell me how of, often the buses leave? We omit the auxiliary. Yeah? We omit the auxiliary. Or how often or what time does the bank open? What time does the bank open? No. Um, the question, the indirect question. Um, do you know? Do you know? Yeah. What time the bank opens? So the structure is like an affirmative sentence, actually. What time the bank opens? You see the verb? It's conjugated. It's not like in a normal question. In a normal question, we use an auxiliary. But in a 
in a, an indirect question, we omit the auxiliary. In a normal question, the verb is in the base form. In, in an indirect question, the verb is conjugated. Yeah, we are talking about the bank. The bank opens, it's, it's like a, an affirmative sentence. The, the bank opens at 9 a.m., for example. But, the, but that is the or the structure of the sentence in an indirect question. Okay. And uh, finally, do you know? So we can use this. Remember, we can use do you know? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? That we can use it in every situation and any of them. But this question is in past. Okay, when did flight uh, 566 arrive? When did flight 566 arrive? How do we make the uh, indirect question? When flight 566 arrived? You see again, the verb is conjugated. Okay, we don't say, do you know when did flight 566 arrive? No, no. We say when flight 566 arrived. We omit the auxiliary. Yeah, we don't use the auxiliary here. And the verb is conjugated. If the question is about a past event, the verb is in past. Okay. Um, Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Okay. Uh, when I use verb to be, the answer is sure. Okay. And when I use a double H question, the answer is is a uh, lurch, lurch, more lurch. Mm. Well, or we are, more we, no, no, no. We are not the answer. What is the answer here? I, I'm not giving no. you an answer. These are WH questions. These are information questions. Exactly, exactly. The information question. Okay. When I use verb to be, it's a short answer. No. No. Short answers are for yes, no questions. Okay. Yeah. Are you... Or for example, a normal, is the bank uh, open near here? The short answer, yes, it is. That is a short answer. Yes. Yeah. But when I ask you what time, where is the bank? I cannot give you, I cannot use a short answer. The bank is on Main Street. So. Yes, yes, my, my question is, this is I know. Uh, my question is, when I use could or would, is necessary a... Uh, uh, a short answer or or a inter uh, or uh, es, uh, puede ser corta o larga la respuesta. When I use could or would, no, or used to, no, it cannot be short because the question is where. Could you tell me where the bank is? What is the answer for this question? The bank is the on Main Street. 
Exactly. So it's not a short answer. You see? Where the bank is? The bank is on Main Street. This is the answer. Yes, I know. So, if you if you want uh, if you want to explain in Spanish your question, it's okay because I don't get what I don't I don't get your question. No, no comprendo más su pregunta. Si gusta, me la explica. Mi pregunta es, o sea, cuando yo ocupo este would o could en este caso, si la respuesta puede ser una respuesta corta o no. no. Por ejemplo. Ok, dígame, dígame. Mm, por ejemplo, cuando yo digo, could you tell me something about you? No utilizo doble edge question. Entonces, mi, mi pregunta solo es, si, si en, en, en esos casos yo puedo responder yes o no, o, o, es una pre, o, 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 o es una pregunta para interrogative question o para una respuesta larga. Cuando yo utilizo could o would, no sé si me entiendo. Mm. Okay, the example was, could you tell me something about you? Mm. Right? That is not, but that is not a short answer. Esa question. no es una pregunta indirecta. Es una no. pregunta directa. It is not an indirect question. It's straight up. <laughs> Entonces, sí, ok, indirect question es esto. Where, where the bank is. Why is it called indirect question? Because it, it doesn't have the normal structure of a of a question. Yeah? Where is the bank? That is the normal or the direct question. Where is the bank? So now I'm I'm uh, making the question in a, in a more polite form. Could you tell me? But when I use could you tell me, I don't say, could you tell me where is the bank? No. Could you tell me where the bank is? That is an indirect question. Okay. Uh, and if the question, because the question is with where, or what time, or when, or how often, like here, I cannot respond with a yes, yes or no. Because they are asking me, would you tell me where? Would you tell me how often? Would you tell me what time? Would you tell me when? I cannot respond with a short answer because the question is, information they are asking me for some information all right now if i uh, if if the question is for example let me show you another an, an indirect let's see could you tell me if you are coming yeah to the party, the party, you see? This is a, a, a yes, no question. Indirect, yes, no question, right? Because I, um, where is the pencil I was using? Okay. Uh, could you tell me if you are coming to the party? This is an a yes no question. The direct question is are you coming to the party? Right? Could you tell me if 
are you coming to the party? No. Or could you tell me if you are coming to the party? I could I can I can respond with oh no, I'm not. Okay. But eso no depende de 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 esto. No. Eso depende de esto. This is an a yes no question. Right? Pero estas no son yes no question. Son information question. Por eso no puede responderse con una short answer. No sé. Yes, yes, teacher. I know. I know everything. Okay. Mi pregunta solo era, por ejemplo, en, en este caso ya me lo contestó usted. Mm -hmm. Cuando usted me pone, could you tell me if you are coming to the party? Entonces, en este caso sí es una short, este, short answer. Pero, yeah. o sea, yo solo quería saber el could you tell me. Por ejemplo, cuando yo le dije, could you tell me something about you? Y si yo digo, no, no hay one. Well, no, I won. If, mm. if someone tell me, could you tell me something about you? No, no, I won. Esa era más que todo mi interrogativa, pero sí entiendo perfectamente todo. Okay, perfect. Great. Any other question, people here? Unfortunately, the video is, is not well recorded. The audio doesn't match the, the video. Let's see here. That uh, nothing changes or just a few things will change. So in this case, could you tell me, I mean, that's similar thing. Could you tell me, and we're no. gonna use. No. He's talking about something and the video is about other thing. Six arrives. So in that case, um, the question could. Yeah. Okay, well, but this is, uh... This is the information about indirect question. Um, let's see, let's go back here. Let's practice uh, with this conversation, okay? Let's practice with this conversation and you'll see some indirect question here. Let me record the audio of the conversation. So. You can practice it later. Conversation. Excuse me, could you tell me where the bank is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it opens? It should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. It's right down the hall. Okay, and just one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Right behind you, ma'am. See that sign? Oh, thanks a lot. Okay, just let me type here. Okay, one more time. Excuse me, could you tell me where the bank is? There's one upstairs across from the duty-free shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it opens? It should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. Good, and can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. 
is right down the hall. Okay, and just one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Right behind you, ma'am. See that sign? Oh, thanks a lot. Okay. Now, uh, let's practice, please. And repeat, repeat after me. Let me. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Could you tell me where the bank is? Could you tell me where the bank is? Could you tell me where the bank is? There's one upstairs across from the duty free shop. There's one upstairs across from the duty free shop. shop. Oh, thanks. Do you know what time it opened? It should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. It should be open now. It opens at 8 a.m. Good. And can you tell me how often the buses leave for the city? You need to check at the transportation counter. It's right down the hall. You need, you need to check, to check at, the at the transportation counter. counter. It's, right down, it's the right down the hall. Okay, and just one more thing. Do you know where the nearest restroom is? Right behind you, ma'am. See that sign? Or right behind you. Right behind you, ma'am. See, 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 see that sign? Oh, thanks a lot. Oh, thanks, oh, thanks, so thanks a lot. lot. Okay, very good. Any question with the conversation? When the man, she say, ma'am, is Ma'am. Uh, ma'am is short for madame, or lady, or me. Ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Ma'am. Mm -hmm. For woman is ma'am, for man, is sir yeah, are, are very formal ways to address uh, a person. If it is a woman, you say ma'am. If it is a man, you say sir. Okay. And what is the meaning of upstairs? Upstairs. Yes. Okay, upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, it's on the floor, on the on the other floor above. Upstairs, arriba. Okay. There's one upstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here. We have the indirect questions. We studied it. Okay. We studied already that. Now, uh, this exercise says write indirect questions using these WH questions and then compare with a partner. All, all right. So uh, let's practice, okay? How much does a newspaper cost? So you need you have to change this direct question into indirect questions. Okay. I'll give you a few minutes to do it. Do it individually, and later I will send you to working groups to compare. All right. Let me share this. In what in what step?
picture let's try that this positive because i love battery i'm sorry i couldn't hear you Brenda. yeah i i just join in the other dispositive because i love battery ah okay
Can you write the the number one, please, in the chat? Okay, there are different options, okay, so there's no problem. If we don't have the same. But I want to see the first one. How much does a newspaper cost? Can you write that sentence in the chat, please? In in the indirect, as an indirect question. Hello. Okay. Do you know how much a newspaper? Okay, just. Remember that you need to conjugate the verb because we are talking about the newspaper that is third person singular should be costs. Do you know how much a newspaper costs? Okay, what about the second one? Where is the nearest cash machine? But come on, I'd like to see everyone writing. Can you tell me where is, sorry, where the nearest cash machine is? Okay. Okay. Is correct, Mister. Yeah, I I guess so. But if you can write it in the chat, it's better. Can you write that in the chat, please? Oh, okay. Can you, okay, but that is incomplete, <laughs> Brenda. Yes, teacher, because I, I changed that, that, that this possibility, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see that, that the screen. Okay, Louis, need, Louis, no problem, no problem. Because the structure for the questions is not the same as direct questions. Yeah. Do you know where the nearest cash machine are? Uh, it is in singular, the question one. It's in singular. Okay, teacher. Yeah. The verb is at the end, Luis. The verb goes at the end. Um, uh, no, Medis, we don't use uh, the auxiliary in the in the indirect question. And it's in plural. Yeah. 
Do you know where the nearest cash machine is? Okay, Juan. No, Luis. You're, Thank you. You keep, uh, you keep doing the same mistake, Luis. The verb goes at the end. But Jennifer, we are working on these questions on exercise A. You have to change those questions into indirect questions. That is a normal question, a direct question, Jennifer. We are working. I'm sorry, teacher. Hi, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. Me falta la otra. Ya, en el proceso. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Ada, Veronica, the, it's okay, but the problem is that the cash machine is in singular. So, where the nearest cash machine is? Not R. Again, Jennifer, uh, uh, you we are working on on this exercise, Jennifer. Here we are using these questions to make indirect questions. As as here. The nearest, well, Reina, where is the question, Reina? Yeah, that's the idea, we are, we are practicing here. Okay, people, we have to stop here, uh, practice, please. We are going to check your questions tomorrow. So remember, the idea is to write indirect questions, okay? As in the as in the model, in the grammar focus. All right? Work on that and we are going to do it again tomorrow. All right? All right. Okay. okay. Have okay. a good night, people. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.